everybody, it's Elise from Cambridge Adults in Motion, and I was just wondering if you know how to scare a unique rabbit. Unique up on it. Boom! With Easter here, I thought that it would be a fun idea to draw our own unique rabbits that we can use to decorate our homes. To do this, we're gonna need some paper, and a pencil. If you've got markers and colored paper, you're welcome to use that as well. I'll let you pause the video now to go and get the supplies you'd like to use. All right, hopefully you were able to track down some paper and a pencil. I prefer to use a pencil, but maybe you prefer a marker, crayon, pencil crayon, whatever your desired writing utensil is. All right, we will get started. See, that's my little rabbit. She's coming to join us. With any luck, she'll go into the camera view, but no guarantees. <laughs> She's my muse. So I'm going to start by drawing her head. She's got a round little face, and I'm going to do it sort of in the bottom left corner of my page. So a round little face. We're only going to do about a half of a circle's worth. And it doesn't have to be a completely round circle because all rabbits' faces are a little bit different. So if you've got sort of a C shape on your page, you are off to a good start. And don't worry about the minor details. It'll all come together in the end. She's got pointy ears. Different rabbits have different shapes and sizes of ears. My rabbit's a Netherland Dwarf, so she's got kind of stubby little ears. But she's got two of them, so I'm going to draw another one right in behind that first ear. But just a little bit of it, kind of like that. Now from that first ear that we drew, we can just draw a little bit of a curved line for her neck. And we kind of want to match it up to the height where we finished drawing her head over here. So right about there. You can drop it down for a little bit of a neck. And then rabbit's backs are quite round because they've got puffy little bodies. So I'm going to go up and then down for her body. It's going to go a nice curve up. It'll be sort of another big C shape like we did at the start. And then down to where her tail will be kind of starting to come together and then at the front we might want to do a little bit of a neck as well and then she's got short little front arms maybe just like that and all of her power comes from her back legs so back where we drew her back here we'll go in a bit and we're gonna start Maybe right about here, and we're gonna do her big knee. It's another round C shape for her knee, just like that. And then she's got big flat back feet. So her foot comes forward towards her knee. We can even go past her a little bit if we want. And then it goes flat along the ground, and then that's her little heel there at the back. She's also got a poofy little belly, so we can connect in just like that for her belly. Can't forget her little tail. So right at the back here, you can draw it like a cloud, nice and puffy. I'm gonna draw it nice and smooth. A little cotton ball tail. A rabbit's tail is actually called a scut. And then you can do some details. So we'll add in an eyeball, just one, cause it's a side view of the rabbit. And you can color it in. And then she's got a triangle little nose. We'll do a little half of a triangle for her nose. Maybe some little mouth. And then because it's a unique rabbit, if you've got markers, pencil crayons, or crayons at home, I encourage you to color it and make it as unique as possible. I'm gonna pause and color in my unique rabbit. And I look forward to showing you the end result. Silly Millie. Alrighty, I have finished coloring my rabbit and he 
here she is. Bet you didn't expect that. Pretty unique, huh? Rainbow colored for the springtime. Ah, uh, after I finished that one, I kind of wanted to do another that looked a little bit more like Millie. So here she is. Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm just kidding. Happy Easter. I hope you guys have a fun time making your unique rabbits, maybe decorating your house with them. And remember, stay hydrated.